you will learn about the transport revolution, the types of movements in the 19th century and about the drawbacks of the three movements. The 19th century changed the world's history deeply. This period was remarkable by many new inventions and technological developments. There was a dramatic change occurred in the society due to economic, political, social and cultural developments. Transportation played a vital role in the economic development. The railroad was the major advancement in land transportation. The sea transportation was the second major transportation. It facilitated long-distance travel with heavy goods. Air transport was the fastest way of transporting goods. It was expensive and therefore used to carry important goods of small quantity. Thus, transport revolution had played a very important role in the international economic exchanges. Economic experts categorized three types of movements regarding international economic exchanges. The first was the flow of trade and goods. The second was the migration of people in search of employment and essential needs such as food. The third was the flow of capital for short-term or long-term investments in other nations. The industrialists shifted their factories to other places where they got low-wage labours. All the three types of movements deeply affected the life of the people. Because international traders imported low-priced goods from other countries, the domestic business also affected greatly. Due to the migration of the people, availability of low-wage labours increased, which in turn badly influenced the poverty level of the people. Industrialists shifted their factories to poor countries and for this purpose, they degraded the forest wealth in those countries. Hence, environmental issues also occurred. You have learnt, the 19th century was remarkable by many new inventions and technological developments. The three types of movements in the 19th century were closely interconnected and affected the life of the people. International traders imported low-priced products from other countries, hence the domestic business was affected greatly. Due to the people's migration, availability of low-wage labours increased, but the poverty level was not decreased. Industrialists shifted their factories to poor countries, which resulted deforestation in such countries and environmental issues also raised.